Hey everyone, welcome back into Anno 1800. Hope everyone's having a great day today. So, I have big plans for this episode. Plans that are probably going to make some of you all go, Oh my god, what are you thinking? So I'm going to, I want to change some stuff up before we get too far and before I build up too much more of all of this over here and take up too much room because I want to make some changes. As you, well, I'm busy right now. As you might remember, I was talking about wanting to move the palace and change up the World's Fair. And I've decided that that's what I'm going to do. I want to change up the World's Fair. I want to make it look a little different. Um, mostly because this this whole thing right here is exactly what we did in the Crown Falls in my last series, in my uh, original Sunken Treasures playthrough. We did this exact same thing with the commuter pier going up to the World's Fair. And while that does look cool, I will admit it, it does look neat. You know, I need, a, we want a little bit, we want, the, variety is the spice of life. How about that? Let's just go with that, with, let's go with that generic phrase. Variety is the spice of life. So we want to change things up a little bit. So what I have decided to do is we're going to move the palace and we're going to, we're going to stick it over here or something for the time being. And then I'm going to move the World's Fair over here. And then we're going to change all this up. It's going to be all changed up. So let's kind of get... Well, let's not move that. Let's move the actual palace. Now, I don't know how this is going to go. We might need to move this right here for the time being. We're about to, we're about to just, you know, just destroy all the things. Okay, let's get rid of all that. Let's get the palace moved right... Temporarily, let's just go right there with it. Okay, let's see. Does it still reach everywhere? It does not reach down there anymore. And it does not reach down here anymore. Ooh. Game save. Okay. We're going to have to move him somewhere else again. Okay. Let's do this then. Let's put you here. Uh, let's get that out of the way. Don't believe I need this. What about if I put the palace... Right here? We're going to have to kind of fiddle around with the palace till we can figure out a good spot for it. So, let's get to fiddling. Okay. How did that do? Just about reaches now. Is this I'm covered bad. by it? At least it's not any busier. It's not covered by it now. And is this down here covered by it? That is covered by it. Okay, so that's good. That's covered by it. Are all the town how all the uh, town halls covered? This uh, this section of the uh, the section down here is no longer covered by all that stuff. That is that oh, is yeah, not yeah. good. I wonder though, I bet I can get it if I do this. Nope, still just a little too far away. That right there I'm not worried about. The town hall, oh, okay, the town hall is now covered. It's just this is no longer uh, hitting it. But that can be solved by moving him around. Let's clip those in together. There we go. Now it's now it's there. Okay, that's what I wanted. I wanted that covered. Okay, and got a little weirdness going on right here that I can fix like that. 
Come on, just go somewhere for a moment. Just until I can fix there. There we go. All fixed now. So now everything's covered again. Oh, wait, is this? Oh, you see the covered. same old faces oh, whenever shoot. I come here. That's not covered anymore. How much did that drop me down? It dropped me down a little bit. It didn't drop me down too awful much. I'm glad. At least it's not any busier. No more or less popular Let's than before. See. Where was that road at? Oh wait, I think I know why. <laughs> okay, why is why is this not destroying? There you go. That was weird. Go there. Go there. There. Now. You see the same old faces nope, whenever not. I come here. Hmm. I really like my long pier going out through I'm there. I'm glad. At least it's not any busier. Can I uh, move you Our around a little bit? just as full as last time. I'm gonna mess around with this until I can figure out where the good spot for it is at. I'm glad. At least it's not any busier. Okay, that's in range. <laughs> Our cruise was just as full as last time. But that's not where I want it. I want it over here. That's where I like more it. More or less popular than before. Well, okay, it's not the worst. We still have a 57 percent. I think we were at like 60 here. something percent. So it's it's not the end of the world. But this, I guess, is where the t the castle or the palace, whatever you want to call it, is going to go now. So let's just do a little uh, quick bit of work on it. Town hall right here. It's gonna have to go somewhere else. Hmm. Think about that. I'm not going to worry about redecorating all of this right here at the moment. This, all of this over here is just going to have to kind of be left to uh, its own devices until I have time to work on it later. Um, that? No, that won't go there. Let's do this so we can just try and... Okay, we can do that. Then we can go... There we go, that'll work. Anything else that's I don't want to lose? No, everything else is fine to destroy. Okay, let's get rid of all of that. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the recording. I'm going to go through, clean all of this right here up, and get it ready for remodel. So I will be back in just a moment. All right, guys. <laughs> here, here we go. It's moved. Uh, I did have to do a little bit of redesign here where the palace used to be, and moved everything around. Got rid of everything, and the world's. No, oh, I don't want to click on the world's fair has been moved into its new location. So now, what I have up on my other screen right here, and I'm looking at, is a layout of the original Crystal Palace that was built in London. And I want to, as close as I can, I know I can't do it speci uh, specifically, blah, 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 that's a hard word to say, uh, but I'm going to try to go get as close as possible to how the actual one looked. Um, and we'll just kind of see how it goes, so basically. So I've got it laid out with the uh, roads coming to it and going from it right there and a road going around it. Um... I also have, again, I, for some reason I can't pull them up like that uh, through the normal menu, 
but somewhere in something. Yeah, I've got some columns. I've got my arches. Where were... Where would they be? Oh god, I don't even know where they're, they're going to be at. I'm looking for the... Uh, columns and the uh I, I had a set of the annex rewards but i have so many mods going that i have trouble finding stuff let's see where were those things at it's all my statues parks and ornaments city tiling city fences and there's the there's those the statues city decorations We got the billboards right there. Special ornaments. It's not listed under there. It's not there. Okay, well, I don't know where they're at then. Yeah, I just don't, I don't see them anywhere. Okay, well, they're just MIA, apparently. Just check down through here, just in case for some reason they got sorted into uh, the city-related stuff. Town halls, consumables, harbor. Just you know, by chance, where they get stuck into harbor. No, no. Okay, I just can't find them. I don't know where they're at. I know I did one. Which basket for all our eggs? Well, I will just have to go and figure out where they're at. Your of factory. course, figures. Yeah, anyways, I will, uh, I'll have to find those, because I really want to use them. Got some weird bugs going on with icons missing everywhere. These are the problems with using mods, people. Stuff comes up missing, can't find things. Things that you really want to find. Alright, well, let's, uh, let's not mess around with it anymore. Let's just kind of get back to what we're doing here. Alright, I do want to use a few of our special ornaments here. So this is not going to be an exact replica, obviously, of the Crystal Palace, because I don't have near the types Should've of ornaments that you actually have to have hands. to build it. Uh, but, you know, we'll, we'll kind of make something that similar. We'll do something kind of similar. So let's come out maybe right about... And I'm going to do these as parks. So we did have a... Who would decline a match with a fountain? A couple of fountains. The impudence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A couple of fountains like that. And then we want some little circular fountains. Uh, artisans? Is that where these are at? Yeah, we want some of these little circular fountains. to go there. Game saved. Want to go there. The fire has been and I'm actually just going to use the uh, standard old roads and stuff. For this just cuz it is easier. Bring it in. Bring this in one. center of that one right there let's go under our workers right here these were just big large plain boulevards they had no decorations they were just big large boulevards that went up to it they did have a lot of roads and stuff going around around to this thing Actually, take these roads right here out, just for the moment. Now they had something like this going on, actually, didn't they? They did. They had a they had a weird little thing like this right here going on. Hold on, I gotta take that out. All 
Alright, you know what? Let's just do this. Let's just do a double road like that up the middle. That'll be fine. And then these right here were lined with, uh, looked like, it looked like cypress trees in all the pictures. They were kind of lined like that. They did the same thing right here. They just lined these with lots of trees like this. It was, you know, back then cypress trees were like all the rage. Everything was cypress trees and elegant trees and stuff like this. Ah, dang it. I'm going to remove a few. Just for the sake of not being overloaded. We'll add in something a little different just to change it up a little bit here. Let's take out these. Let's maybe take out these on the corners. We'll leave that. Okay. Actually, we can take out these because this already has a couple right there. So let's mimic that over here. We'll just take out those and that and leave the corners. Okay, that doesn't look as overloaded <laughs> as it did. Um, let's see. In between it, maybe we'll do... Power beds on a couple of these. I think that would look nice. Yeah. Looking flower beds on these parts. Right to there. I like it. And on the rest of it for right now, let's just do grass. Because they did have just a lot of big open grassy spaces. Okay. Now, the road came out from the main the main section right there. And down here is where we'll put in maybe our larger boulevard like that. Okay. So it came out from there. There was actually a huge, huge central fountain right there. Um... Now, we don't actually have anything that would work for that. Our 3x3 fountain, this is a, an odd shape. So our big 3x3 fountain wouldn't actually work. And there's nothing bigger about it other than, you know, it's just got some more space around it. Maybe instead we will use one of the uh, unique fountains from the uh, special ornaments tab. Let's use that elephantine fountain. Whoops. Yeah, we'll do the elephantine fountain in the middle right there. It means I'll probably replace that fountain right there with a uh, with a normal version, just so it's not the same as what I've got going on up there. There we go. There we go. Just a very nice, fancier looking fountain right there. I like it. Now from there, they actually had, what are these? Uh, more fountains. Shocking, more fountains. They had, this place had so many fountains, it was ridiculous. Now this kind of gets into more interesting stuff right here. So basically the rest of our park area is gonna extend from there to there and there this is going to be another big boulevard right there okay that'll be a boulevard and then we'll have some park stuff hmm. we may have a little bit of park stuff right here but we'll probably put in some houses two three one two right here so we're going to want to move him over maybe to right there it's not going to work is it okay let's put him right there then 
All right, we're going to have a row of houses here. So one, two, three, one, two, three. And now it's not even. Uh, and that is just how this thing laid out is this thing's actually not even at all. Uh, but I'm okay with that. I will be okay with that. And then we're going to have, that's actually not going to go anywhere. The rest of it was actually just uh, trees and parks around it. They had a lot of trees and parkland. So we're going to go under here. We're going to get medium density forest. Oh, that's, that's too dense. Too dense. Actually, I know which one I want to get. It is under our nom ornaments, and we have a city park. How does that look? It's also very dense. It's a lot more dense than I wanted it to be. About low density forest. That's uh, slightly better. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Let's take out all of these trees right here. I need to be able to see how this is looking. Yeah. Let's take out a few random sections and put in the different types of trees. Uh, let's put in some nom fir forests. Just to mix up the tree, the types of trees and stuff that are in here. Okay, so yeah, it had a little parkland and just trees and grassy areas on each side. So we'll probably mess around with that a little bit more. Now the rest of this we are going to go ahead and fill up with how this sorta worked out. And to do that, we're gonna go under our artisans and we're going to, instead of using roads from now on, we're going to use, uh, not that, we're gonna use our paths. And I'm going to use the default game ones just because they do allow me to have the nice darker grass. So I'm going to go ahead and pause it here because this is going to take a long time to lay out and get right. So I will see you back once this is laid out and you'll see why I had to pause it. So see you soon. Yeah, see you soon. That's the word. All right, guys. I don't think it gets much more Victorian looking than this right here. Lots of gardens, green spaces, walkways, uh, tons of gar botanical garden type stuff. Yeah, this is what it should look like. This is, of course, it's not exact. It is similar. The, uh, the actual Crystal Palace had these amazing spiral gardens and spiraling walkways, kind of like what you see right here. It had lots of these spiral stuff everywhere, huge fountains and massive reservoirs. It was it was absolutely gorgeous. The pictures I've seen of it, but you know this is this is my this is my take on it in Anno 1800, just an, a much more scaled down version, of course. But I think this looks really nice. It'll look really good when I get some engineers and investors in these uh, smaller houses. Looks like we can upgrade these guys now to workers. Once I get them upgraded and have some, some houses on each side, I think it'll look really nice. So yeah, there is the giant the moving of the palace of the, uh, not palace, but the world's fair done. Jeez, that was, that, that was a lot. That was a lot of fun though. I have been wanting to do this for a little while and just kind of change things up. Because I mean, it's still, you know, you're walking up the big boulevard and everything. It's still... The, you know the the prime thing that you see right here but now it has these gorgeous gardens and stuff you know let's go take a look around let's get down to first person i know some people can't stand the first person it gives them a headache so i'm sorry if this might give you a little bit of a headache but i do kind of want to take a look you know and it does go uphill to it but it doesn't slant the problem with it over where it was at was that sloped downhill so it created a really weird effect but this doesn't and this is a little bit better Oh, yeah. We've got our nice big high rises and stuff. Looking out over the uh, the big wide boulevards and everything. 
Which here's another thing I've been noticing, and that's uh, these trees really need to be moved. I need I need to redo our boulevards and everything and make them look a little bit nicer. I need to work on the boulevards. I need to work on a lot of stuff. But this was the big thing I wanted to do. Let's go. Let's get up to the World's Fair and see if we can't get up there and kind of look out from it. I think that'd be a nice view. Yeah, this looks this looks lovely. I actually like this a lot. I forget if I can go up these stairs or not. Uh, can I? Can I go up the steps? Yes, I can. Oh. Oh, look at that view. That, to me, screams Victorian era. Just a, a silly number of fountains. Oh, I changed those fountains out on the sides for some botanical ornaments. I thought those looked a little bit nicer. But lots of fountains and cypress trees and, you know, uh, flowers, big green spaces, ostentatious looking. And then that just a beautiful view. I think that's an that that is that's a screenshot right there. That is screenshot worthy. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so there we go. There's the first major hurdle done. The next is what to do with all of this extra space. Now some of this stuff is going to stay, like the this botanical garden right here is going to stay right where it's at. I'm not going to move it. We're just going to finish closing it in with a uh, well. If I can if I can select this fence right here I'm gonna close this side in okay and I don't need this type of ro this fancy thing going on anymore we'll just get a standard brick road I'm, I'm gonna try to get away from using those particular that particular mod that adds those in like this uh, adds in those uh, this right here I like it for our big main boulevard but that's gonna be about it you know um, and I might even change this up and just put in a double road I it's just it's too white it's just it's way too white it hurts my eyes to look at all the so time what if I am so I'm probably gonna prejudiced. swap it around now I kind of like what's going on right here though but let's uh let's change it up a slight bit because I do like this little park thing we've got going on here. Just needs to be just needs to be adjusted a bit. We can actually also end. Yeah, we could go ahead and end this big double road right here. I'm gonna since I'm still using the the plaza streets, let's just go ahead and finish it off like that. Uh, let's copy this, put that there, and twist this one around. No, not that. This. There we go. Okay, and same thing over here. We're going to get rid of that. And just put in a normal cobblestone road. This right here is going to present a bit of a problem. So what I can do is change this up a bit. We'll pull that back in, we'll go under our workers, and this is my new favorite tiling ornament right here, is the dark gray. I just, I don't know why, I just really like that dark gray tiling. Let's just pull it all the way down. Go ahead and pull it all the way up through here a little bit, just to fill it in. This right here needs a little something, and that little something to me is screaming fountain in the middle. Yep, screaming fountain. Then we have this area back here as well that needs a little something. Good again, I'm just going to pull our pull that through and I think I'm just gonna end it right there actually I think we'll call that an end to it now all of this over here is gonna have to get redesigned of course
all this over here is going to need to be redesigned and laid out a little bit differently. Are these ready to go to artisans? They are. Let's get them upgraded. Did that? Oh, God, that upgraded. Oh, God, that upgraded everything. <laughs> I didn't mean to upgrade all of this, too. Oh, I was not paying attention. Oh, we just upgraded all this these workers. This is a magnet for genius. Um, I saw it in heaven's bright. I didn't mean to upgrade some of this. Okay, let's... Yeah, I'm going to have to go through and I, and do a bunch of forceful downgrading. Okay, okay, I'm going to have to go through and do that myself here in a little while. Be careful when you do the mass upgrade, because you do things like that. My bad. Okay. So as we get further away from like the more opulent area, I'm okay with the buildings being kind of right on top of everything. Uh, we could, you know, even okay, do... Say. Just go ahead and get rid of this, since I'm not loving it anyways. And let's just do a double... A regular old double road for right now. Yeah, let's just do that for the, for the moment. Not a, I'm not a big, big fan of them like that, but we may uh, may leave it for the moment. I'm, I may change this up a little bit, bring things in a little bit more somewhere, or expand something out. I'm not sure. So I don't really like the way these double roads do this. I wish they would be kind of like uh, how dirt roads do. It leaves that down the middle. So it kind of creates that and then leaves the middle as one big piece. That would actually look a lot better. It would look a lot more believable and I would be happier with the double roads. But anyways, let's uh, let me not focus on that. Let's get rid of this going on right here. Alright, let's get some houses moved around, shall we? Okay, so it's going to give me a problem right This is what I live for. This is my favorite thing to do in Anno. If you never noticed before, this, and yeah, I'm, I'm losing a bunch of the like, high rise style buildings I put in, and that's okay. I'll get them back. I can get those back. Okay, so it's not going to fit right there. Again. Let's see, how can we uh, how can we fix that then? Actually I know what I can do here. Let's get rid of these farmhouses I just put down. I was staring at pictures of uh, Paris and London and kind of seeing what the insides of these areas looked like and I noticed something interesting. It's that the insides of them were actually usually filled with other stuff. You know, there was other stuff up inside it. So we could do something like, like this. Hold on, I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. Just give me a second. I could put in one there. I'm going to start stealing from up here. Cause, just because I don't really need all of those up there at the moment. Move everything around. I do want to check where my... Uh... Okay, so these are actually out of the range of a city hall. That's okay. That is okay. Put another one inside there. Put another one inside right like that. 
then what I'll do is I'll just scoop all of this over. Don't want to do it like that. Let's leave me some, with some odd spaces and everything. Of course, I mean, I figured, I knew it would. Yeah, that'll, I can actually work with that. Because I can take the interior of that right there. And I actually want to just use the worker ornaments. And we can stick in like a Morris. Uh, actually, no, 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 we won't. We'll use the artisan and the engineer stuff. Because it is the, uh, the white tiling. Put like a little fountain in the middle right here. Maybe flank it with a couple of benches and parks like that. Okay, I can deal with that. Uh, right here looks like a great spot for maybe a, 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 a random billboard up in here. Okay, I can I can deal with that. Then out here, let's put in a, a Morris column. put in another billboard maybe for the sunken treasure stuff and then we'll go over here and we'll grab maybe a, a newspaper stand right there actually no I don't want to do the horse column in the corner let's do it like this like that then let's go into our engineers and get some of the some of a couple of nicer trees in the middle yeah, that'll work. And then we'll put in a couple of those, and that takes up that space. And that kind of makes that look, you know, this right here is more like what the interiors of them look like. They would have like a single road going in, or sometimes the road would even connect out the other side. And the interiors get kind of filled up with the random stuff. Oh, I just realized that we have a house that does not have a road connection. Oh, what was I, what was I thinking? Okay, hold on. I think I can fix this. Or maybe I can't. I'm sure somebody was yelling that, you know, you put a house right there and they can't go right there. Now I realize that now. Can't I? That doesn't help because that's just the same thing as I had before. Um, what am, how am I going to get a road connection to that? There's got to be a way for me to do it. There has to be a way for me to get a road connection to that. Because I really want this up inside here. I just really, really want it up inside there. Okay, I'm going to pause again real quick. I got to stare at this for a moment. Okay, I got it to work. Uh, it's not exactly how I wanted it to work, but it, it, I got it to work. It does it. So, yeah. I think this is a, a system how we're going to kind of approach things going forward. I love and I'm probably going to go back and do a lot of remodeling of some of our town blocks and try to make them look a little more compact, built on top of each other, sort of look like this right here. Um Honestly, you know, if I was to redo this, I would actually shrink this down by one more and get rid of the this random little interior spot right here. No, and bring this, bring these in and bring that in and do it like that. Which I could actually do right here and then bring this up and over. There you go. That'll work. And that kind of creates an interesting look for it right there. Game save. And this little dude right here, uh, it is a t perfect two by two for that and some of this. There we go. Lovely. See, you can make some really interesting looking designs. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna redo quite a few blocks. All these blocks like this. And these, and even this, I'm gonna change it all up. And we're gonna put a bunch of our public buildings, like fire stations and police stations and stuff, up inside them, just to kind of get them out from the middle middle of the streets everywhere. 
okay, let's do it this way instead of the way I was doing it. There we go, engineers. Yay. Yes, that looks lovely. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, let's continue on with doing some filling in, shall we? Okay, so that actually needs to come away. I could even, you know, I could even have a random market up inside one. Okay, this is not going to fit. It is off by one tile. Hmm. Yeah, it's going to be off by one tile right there. No such thing as fair trade. Actually, that will be okay. I can actually, uh, I can make this work. What I can't make work, apparently, is that. Because I'm going to go here. I'll go here and create a little little plaza right there and then I'm gonna come right here and we're gonna decrease the size of this by tile yeah decrease the size of that by one tile we'll come right there with it we'll go right there with it and we're just going to drag this over and be done with that uh, that right there I'll leave open for a second. I can do something with that. Some more trees. Uh, hide this little... What's going on here? Must have selected a couple. Our beautiful friendship cake. Oh my god. Those warehouses actually get in the way. No, I don't really care. Go away. Yeah, those warehouses actually... They have a really weird footprint, and it causes you to constantly select them. Alright. And this is an easy fix, because we can just move these down by... See, I was over here, and it selected the warehouse. It's really annoying. Okay. There we go. And we'll do the same thing over here. We'll just drag some of these over. Drag you out, drag you back. There we go. Okay, that fixed up those. Let's grab and continue that on down, and we'll pull that down. And we'll do something fun, like, you know, with the, uh, with the intersections later on. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them just yet. But we'll do something fun with the intersections. Because uh, I still... Uh, there was still a, a request for me to do some roundabout type things. Which is still on the list. I have not forgotten about the roundabouts. But I do... Uh, I do have a lot of other things I want to try to work on as well. Now comes the question, are these staying or are they moving? I'm starting to think they're going to be moved. Where to, I don't know yet, but I'm thinking I'm going to move them. Yeah, thinking they're going to, I may move one over there. Might stick one up here. Put one back there. I'm, yeah, I'm probably going to move these we botanical gardens up and get them out of my way. Because they are sort of in the way right there. I bought some of your island. The door was open and I ambled through. Well, you're not going to amble through my island. Give me my island back. Jerk face. Okay, anyways. Now that I've done being distracted by him buying things up. Let's, uh, let's just do a little more laying out before we end this episode. Oh, that's right. I completely forgot what I was working, that I was working on something right here. Leadership. 
Although this is probably something I don't want to work on on camera because I'm going to have to kind of mess with this design and figure out what I want these to look like. Because I do kind of like these, this like double park thing going on right here. It's kind of cool looking. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to keep that layout with that. I may leave this botanical garden. Yeah, I think I'll leave that botanical garden in particular. We'll take out uh, any of the others. We'll move the other one, but we'll leave this one. It is super close to that zoo, though. I don't know. I don't know. I, You know, you guys know me. You know that I never know what the heck I'm going to do. I usually just kind of go with it. And whatever happens, happens. So yeah, we're going to fill all that back in with houses and stuff now. And just like the real life um, <laughs> Crystal Palace, we have moved it. Yes, in real life, they disassembled the Crystal Palace and they moved the whole freaking thing to another part of town and set it all back up again. So hey, it's based in reality. People move things right, all the time. They tear it. Have you ever seen houses being moved on wheels? It's a thing. It happens. We just moved our entire World's Fair. We disassembled it brick by brick and stuck it over here where I wanted it. And I actually like it a lot better. This looks nicer. This just looks a lot, a lot nicer. Okay, where are we at? What do we got going on? I've got a random construction site that I was showing off that I never went back and changed. <laughs> it's just so much random stuff. Yeah, I'm going to do the parks here. I am going to move this one, so let's just go ahead and temporarily move him over to there. And let's get rid of everything that it was surrounded with. Nothing I have to worry about losing in terms of decorations. Oh, and before somebody says it, yes, I know I did destroy some buildings that had that were like from the World's Fair and were you know, unique ornaments from it. Um, and to that, I have to say, I don't care. It's not like they're hard to get back. They're easy to uh, to get back. You just have to run the World's Fair again, which I run it constantly. So, okay, so there's all that cleaned out. So that gives me some more room right there to put in some other, uh, some more housing dip blocks and some more stuff back in there. So, I think with that, we're going to go ahead and cut this episode a little short. Um, a little about, it's about 10, 12 minutes earlier than I normally cut it. But all I have left that I really need to do right now is a whole lot of tearing things down, laying things back out, getting everything re-upgraded, and just kind of getting it the way I want it. I'm also going to go through and do a lot of this right here. Where I have kind of designed it like this. I'm going to go do some more of that around town. And that's going to take a long time. I won't do all of it, obviously. I do want to save some stuff for you guys to see and watch me do. But I do want to go kind of get started on it. And just get a head start on the, some of this redesign type stuff. Before we start expanding out to the rest of the island. So... Yeah, I think that's going to be it for me. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Be sure to join our community Discord. The link is in the description down below. Uh, we've got a lot of people in there. We have a lot of fun throughout the day. All kinds of great conversations, whether it be about Anno, about clowns, apparently, and all kinds of random stuff that we talk about. We have a good time in there. Love to have you, and we'll see you in the next episode. Until then, take care.